Hey guys, Abomination 9 here. Today we're going to be playing some Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. Uh, now, uh, this is my first time, like, really playing the game. But I've watched, like, someone else on YouTube play the game to death pretty much at this point. And, like, several, several months ago, I did a drawing of Solar Flare from this game that apparently a lot of people liked because it had 2,000 views almost on it at this point. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not new new to plants vs zombies heroes it's just i've never actually played it but we're going to start off with the plants mission since that's all we can do and i probably will unlock try to unlock solar flare of course because you know i did a drawing of her i might as well try to get her i'm assuming all you start off with is green shadow uh i don't really know i guess we start here i need to uh, pay attention to these names so i can know what the name the What to name these uh, episodes? Okay, so we're fighting Infinity. I don't know if this is too loud, so actually, let me turn that down. Hey there. That seems a bit too loud. Yeah, versus it's in Infinity. Here's a secret: all heroes have a unique fighting style. Infinity likes to send out lots of small teammates to get the jump on you. When played, it gets plus three until the end of turn. Which we have... No choice but to use that. Though, does this give us... Does this give us plus two, plus two? We could just take the four. I don't know if this is a... What you call a deck? I think we're just gonna take the four. Maybe beef up Snowdrop, though. I don't think this is a freeze deck, so actually, I know it's not a freeze deck because it's a deck that we've constructed. So we might just want to throw away freeze drop, anyways, or the Snowdrop, whatever this is called. Yeah, let's sacrifice it. It's no big deal. Oh, we got another one anyways. Oh my god, are we going to just keep going back and forth like this? Oh, and a little imp as well. Crud. Well, putting this cabbage here because he's plus one, plus one on height. We'll just have to take that four. Well, five technically. Because we'll actually be able to kill that zombie now next turn with a snowdrop. Hmm. I don't think this deck has any amphibious, so we need to win before the amphibious kills us. So I think what I'm going to actually do is this, and then this, because this will freeze, technically, and that will buff this to do more damage direct. Dude, oh, come on. Seriously? He still had that much brains after that round? Ah, oh, whatever. Freeze a zombie, draw a card. Well, still same thing. We essentially still get to buff our snowdrop. Or whatever it's called, I'm not sure. I'm afraid to actually click on... Click on it, see what it actually says, because this game has crashed on me before from doing that, so I don't want that to happen. This does not have team up. Yeah, peas only get buffed by this. So let's just put a snowdrop here. This is plus three. Yeah, just plus three, plus three. I guess whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's just fill up the lane and then buff this other snowdrop. There we go. So it's a decently buff. Okay, hides in a grave zone. Doesn't matter because it's a 1-1. One, one. Be sure to use it on something that's actually doing decent damage, like our 3-4. Make 2-1 infinity clones in random lanes, I'm assuming. Of course, there's only so many lanes to go into. That stupid 
mermaid imp over there is a problem. Is this amphibious? Okay, the bean is not amphibious. I think I'm just gonna use torchwood to block. Okay, this is fine, that's fine, that's fine. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna use that to block. And maybe we should buff this guy? I don't know. Yes, buff this guy. A 6 5. He has three brains still. He might have some. No, no trick. And now we get a P after we've sacrificed our peapod. Or not peapod, our torchwood. Then Phoebe says we're just constantly be attacking us. There's nothing we could do. We might block. Oh, it doesn't matter. We got him. Okay, cool. We won. But of course, I didn't think we were going to lose. It's like the very first single player mission. You would have to, like, try to lose. Okay, so H points. Oh, yeah, I forgot the stupid event. We have Blooming Roses. Uh, up for grabs right now. Play to unlock a new starting plant hero. Win a game with a plant hero for gems. Do 30 damage to zombies. Some more gems. You got a new hero. Each hero leads two different classes of plant into battle. Play game to unlock zombie. So that's probably, we have to do zombie missions for that. Play two of Green Shadow's superpowers. Gets 10 gems. Play three peas for another 15 gems. Calling all heroes. You earned a new hero. Choose one. Of course, Solar Flare. It's not even an option. And I have nothing against Madao, but I mean... Solar Flare is the only card that I've ever drawn, or only hero that I've ever drawn, so... Of course we have to take Solar Flare. New quest. Solar Flare Victory. We're in a solar flare for 50 gems. They're just giving gems like hotcakes. Tap the deck icon below to switch between decks. Alright, so this is editing. I don't want to do that. I want uh, solar flare. Actually, let's edit this so I can actually look at what we have to use here. Uh, squashes. These bells. Because the bell's just uh, nothing. These mushrooms might be nothing as well. Yeah, they're nothing. These are two one ones in a lane. The sunflowers give you bonus sun per turn. This is like two, three damage. This guy can buff? Does this guy buff all mushrooms or when played all mushrooms get plus one plus one yeah. The pistachio guys or the mixed nuts. When played, this gets two uh, plus two plus two if there's a plant with team up here. Alright. This guy, poison ivy, anti-hero four, so he's a five three if there's no one in his way. Oh, this guy's really good. Is power flower. Start of the turn, heal your hero for one for each flower. Plus, it has strike through, which means uh, it will hit the enemy hero even if there's something blocking. And the squashes, I think, are just hard damage. Yeah, destroy a zombie. Just straight up get rid of them. This is a decent deck. And here's our power sunburn, do damage, and you get one more sun permanently. Uh, weed whack, a zombie gets minus two, minus two. Make two one ones. In random lanes and scorched earth all zombies on the ground get minus one minus one which are the three lanes in the middle so this is infinity's wild ride so i need to remember that say so I, I don't think you can go back and do these missions so i need to remember okay squash Two squashes, a sunflower, and mixed nuts. 
Did you know Rust Bolt dug up his armor from a junkyard? Still, he's one top 10 can. He'll try to sap your plant's strength so you can't defeat his super strong zombies. Alright. Of course, do that so we'll have three sun next turn. And doesn't this guy buff off of team up? Yeah, it gets plus two plus two if there's team up. Which I want him to protect the sunflower. The plant gets minus three. Jesus Christ. Luckily, we buffed him with his passive. Destroy a plant with two or less? Is that all he's going to do is use tricks? Jesus Christ, Rust Bolt. Is that all Rust Bolt does? Is tricks like that? Well, we can put a sunflower behind him again. Because using this guy doesn't really do us any good. We could weed whack that, but I don't think it's time for that. And we don't have any other mushrooms, so... You don't want to use him unless you... Have those other mushrooms. Those two one ones. That we're, we're losing here. Make two one ones. Okay, cool. Though they might end up here. Okay, cool. One did end up here. Oh, actually, that works out because he already had his turn. Cool. Oh, and we have that one. Oh my god, that would have been better if we could have done that earlier. Though we might still be able to use that. Like he. Oh no, we have to put it there. Unfortunately, no. I don't want to use that. We're gonna use this to give these other two. I don't know if that's even... No. I think we want to save it for these guys. Though, let's actually do this. Well, if we do this... We still wouldn't be able to kill him. But he wouldn't be able to kill us. And by us, I mean this mushroom here. These are mushrooms, correct? Okay, they do count as mushrooms. Okay, he had a power-up that he was not able to use, which is odd. Oh, another one. Wow. Huh. Well, then, let's just go at it again, then. Why not? We still have all these mushrooms out. And now he won't die. Yeah, I'm cool with that. We have four sun, though, that we can't use. He has four, four brains as well that he's not using. He has a bunch of cards and he's not using them. Unfortunately, that mushroom's dead, but... This one's still alive. Another one? Are you kidding me? Jeez. And he has nothing, and this is gonna let that one live. This mushroom live. What is up with this rust bolt? They're making this way too easy. I could kill him too, but that would be a waste of squash. Kill your hero for six. Not bad. Even though you wasted two of that. Those mixed nuts just been going at him for like six years now. Oh cool, that guy. He didn't have team up though, so... Not much you can really do. I don't think any of these guys team have team up. Yep, can't do anything. Rust Bolt, can you play? I know this is just single player starting off, but you can't make it this easy. You're not even using your freaking shield abilities. Finally. Though I'm just going to kill it, so it doesn't matter. I probably should use that on Rust Bolt, because he's going to block one of these, possibly. Because he could block this. He can't block him, but he might block this. Yeah, there's there's no... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that was way too easy. It was like his AI just gave up. 
Get 15 of those, 10 of those. Because we got 10 gems and our 50 gems. Oh, we have to play uh, 50 rounds to unlock the zombie headquarters to do the zombie missions. Uh, 10 gems. Thank you for the gems. 15. Five tickets. I think that's for the uh, blooming rose thing. That's why it says it's only giving us five. What is... She only gets five too, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go all the way to the end here. So these mobile videos will most likely be pretty long. Uh, I don't want them to be too short. No, the infinity. So up next after Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, we will be doing... God, I always forget. Why do I always forget the... Because I was forgetting uh, what the names of these were in... Um, into the Gungeon, even though I shouldn't be forgetting. So I've known about Plants vs. Zombies Heroes for like an entire year now, and I forgot its name in that video. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, after the video was done, I was like, how did I forget Plants vs. Zombies Heroes? Like, it's the one I know the most out of them, and I just remembered it. Pokemon Duel will be after this. Uh, I think that's best. Because we'll at least ha actually have some damage out. Or... I don't know. I think it's fine. We'll do that. And then we will do this. And then return. So, two die. And we get uh, a mushroom to live. All zombies on the ground get minus one, minus one. Oh my god, well, let's just use that now, actually. Because that will deal with both of them. That's why I took care of the one on the... Uh, Heights first on, on the height first because I knew that uh, we had ground based damage, so it only it would have only hit these three lanes and wouldn't have been able to reach him. Uh, I'm gonna use this because, of course, get our mushroom deck going. Boom. Unfortunately, we have to deal with the Phibius over there now. We have an anti-hero, which I might play if he doesn't... Okay. All amps are deadly. That's fine. Because then we can put our anti-hero here. And our mushrooms in the other lane. And start getting some serious damage. Okay, okay, he has something to use. Do two damage to the mushroom. That's fine. That opens us up to play another one of those if we get one. We could blow up that. Yeah, we definitely need to blow that up now. I have no choice. Now that it's hitting for six. Strike through guy. And that's it. He has five brains, but what is he going to do with it? Nothing, apparently. He could use the two random uh, imps. Or the two imps in random lanes. And he's going to die next turn, no matter what it looks like. Especially putting this guy here. He's going to strike through right, right through that stupid imp. He's going to block it, though. Boom. And dead. Antihero. Fifteen more of those. Ten more tickets. For the blooming rose. Isn't the hot date supposed to be out? Or is this time already passed?
I don't know if you have to buy the hot date or actually unlock him. I'm not sure. Like unlock him through packs. So we have our whole mushroom deck going. Time to bundle up. Brain Freeze is going to try to put you on ice. Yeah, I know how Brain Freeze works. He also has a herd of zombie pets. Those varmints are fast. Get rid of them quick. Okay, I think he's just a basic zombie. So, I'm going to start out with these guys. If he blocks them next turn, uh, I'm going to use him. If he doesn't block them, I'm going to use this one and then use him on my third turn. So we can maximize our mushroom. Okay, he didn't. And he's out of brains as well. So that means I will put this here. And this behind him. Because apparently he has... Oh, the flower is the one with team up. And the next turn, we're going to use the mushroom. And we should have at least four now. One, one to all. Ground zombies is not worth it yet. Another mushroom. Oh my god. Okay, so we can actually do this. This. Boom. Two twos all around. And then get rid of them. And then hit him. A 10 damage. Bounce a random. Bounce freaking buff shroom. Ah. Really? All tricks? All plants on the ground gets minus one, minus one. Oh my god. The tricks, man. After that huge strat, I just pulled out an... Pull out of my hat. Oh my god, two blocks in a row? Are you kidding me? You have to be joking me. And he got rid of my stupid flower, so I'm back down to four, and we can't do anything against that. And putting this in a lane where uh, it's only going to spawn one isn't worth it. So we will wait. When we will destroy one of their nuts of berries. We do not have any nuts of berries. Freeze all plants on the ground. What kind of power is that? I did not realize Brain Freeze had that power. Wow. Okay, now we can put the uh, team up there if we wanted to, but it's more lucrative to use a strike through. Though, now that that mushroom's pushed up into... Uh, oh, I, you, I can't actually put it there. Yeah, I was going to put it here because he is pushed up. As if he could use team up, but it wouldn't let me. But now that we have a strike through on the field, we are good to go. Dumpy gets plus two plus two. Unfortunately, I forgot about that stupid thing over there. I really needed to use my uh, weed on it. Or whatever that's called. Actually, we're going to have to use that now. We can't put any plants down, so it doesn't matter. Either way. We'll play this move. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Get rid of that garbage. We have no amphibious. And we can get rid of this one too, technically. He has five brains left, though. Didn't use them. There's no block, so this is just all damage going in. The mixed nuts. Oh, yeah, and that uh, power flower is giving us health back. Oh, he has strike through. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, he blocked. Cool. Make two random... Nope. No. There's no space for them. And we win. Easy peasy. Okay, again, more of those. I don't know what those H's are. What are those H's for? Unlocking heroes, maybe? Okay, one more game will unlock the zombie headquarters play three flowers so we got our 15 gems play a card that costs three sun on turn two we get 50 lightning bolts whatever those are 
And finally, the last mission in Infinity's Wild Ride, which will most likely be Infinity again. And it starts off with an imp out. We have no cards to use, though this gives us permanent uh, sun boost. Hey, Botanical Buddies, this is a boss battle. Bosses have special advantages. Infinity already cloned himself. But hey, he's also down one card. Now go get that pesky pipsqueak. I might just use this. This does two damage, and you get plus one for the rest of the game. Which I kind of just want to do. So that'll give us three for next turn, I think. Make two. Ugh. So he's going to hit me for six this turn if I didn't do that. Okay. Way too much. Oh, we're at three. She has to go. Oh my god. I'm getting overwhelmed here. Yeah, one of them has to go, so we have no choice. The one on heights, of course. Heights first, because most heroes are only able to strike the ground. And there it is. Exactly like I was saying. Striking the ground. So we wiped him out. We're at four now. <sighs> Freak's sake. I can't be taking like heavy damage, so we're just gonna have to block. He only has one card left, so that means he will only have two when next round comes around. We have cards, we just they're just very expensive. Okay, mushrooms, that's good. One of those, that's not that bad. I'll actually just put him here. Just do it. We're still getting our strike through damage in. We'll take the one. Boom. For three. And we heal, I think. So we healed for one. We can put down another one. And we can put these two, I guess. Five for tricks, but nothing. A couple strike throughs back to back. He blocked that one, unfortunately. Didn't use his card, though. And now we're going to heal for two. And another two. So we're back up to 13. We're actually winning health-wise. We can't actually do anything. I was about to say we have no Pokemon to put out in the field, but... What I meant to say we have no... Uh, what I meant to say was we have no uh, plants to put on the field. All we have is damage. Again, more damage. Then boom, we're back up to 17. And he's probably going to die. Another failed block, or not a failed block, but block where he doesn't actually use a card. And there goes Infinity. A hundred hero points and ten tickets. Again. Closing in on that blooming. And we unlock the zombie headquarters. Quest complete. Dr. Zombots wants you. Play as a zombie at Z-Tech headquarters. Hooray. Here's a couple new missions. 100 gems. Let's roll back real quick. Neato. Gems. Beating quests made you rich. Let's go shopping. Uh, I don't really want to buy anything right now. Don't force me to. Spend gems. Open premium packs. You'll always get a rare card or better when you open a premium pack. This one's got an extra sweet card. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. Eh, it's gonna force me to. I have no choice.
Okay, some mushrooms. Oh, a gargantua. Oh, a super rare. So we got mushroom ringleader. When played, this gets plus two for each other plant. Bl uh, Bluesberry. When played, do two damage. It's a really good one. When played on heights, this gets plus two, plus two. So it's five, four. When played, bounce another plant. Rescue Radish is pretty decent in circum certain circumstances. All Gorgantuars have Bullseye, which is really good. And that was called a Wizard Gorgantuar. Grapes of Wrath. This is a 6-6. Six, six. When destroyed, do 6 damage to the zombie hero. Z zombie hero. So no matter what, he's doing 6 to the, the enemy hero. That's really good. That's a good plant. I, I haven't seen this uh, this. This specific plant played before. And I've watched a lot of Plants vs. Zombies heroes. Alright, let's get out of there. See, so, yeah, guys, uh, well, I assume it's gonna lock that. Yeah, okay, we're. No, don't. Okay, after this, we will actually end the video. Alright, no, we're not playing yet. Basic pack. You have 100 hero coins. Time to open a basic pack. No. So I guess those are for packs. I thought they're for unlocking heroes. Whatever. So yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment. Do the do. See ya.